Okay, let us continue with uh, the problem of these gradients, concentration gradients, temperature gradients, and flow inhomogeneities. Uh, well, uh, every chemical engineering problem requires uh, some solution of a conservation equation. In uh, the chemical conversion problem, we solve the conservation of mass, When temperature is our concern and we wish to find out how the uh, temperature changes in the domain, we solve conservation of energy. And in a flow of domain, in order to find out uh, flow of behaviors and rates, we solve the conservation of momentum equation. Which problem to solve depends on what is the objective of the problem and uh, which problem to ignore requires a good understanding of the issues. So, let us take an industrial scale plug flow reactor. That feed comes in. And product leaves. Now we are writing this balance equations for this hypothetical A goes to products reaction. Our plug flow reactor, the idealized plug flow reactor, on this side of the board, the fluid element was moving as if it were a plug. In other words, we had no radial mixing in this reactor. If the diameter of the reactor is large enough to give rise to gradients in temperature and gradients in momentum, we might have velocity profiles as well as temperature profiles. Now, in this hypothetical reaction, it seems like the temperature is decreasing along the reactor T of R and this is of course V of R. Now ask yourself if the temperature is decreasing along the radius is this whether this is an endothermic or an exothermic reaction. Right. So there's a question here. Is this reaction endo or exothermic? So if we are sure that we have velocity gradients and temperature gradients, it is important that we have to solve the momentum balance and the energy balance along with the mass balance or species conservation equation. In order to have an accurate representation of the reactor behavior. Um, in a continuously stirred tank reactor, this was a plug flow reactor. In a continuously stirred tank reactor, uh, 
we have an impeller mixing a liquid domain our hypothetical reactant A enters unconverted ones leave but if our reactor has imperfections imperfections in terms of heat transfer imperfections in terms of mixing we might end up losing our uniformity assumptions now let's see what what can happen if this reactor is externally heated using a heat mantle or serpentines we are going to have an external temperature provided here and if there are imperfections in the mixing we will have gradients of temperature that is going to have our T functionality as you would see in other words here in this reactor our temperature is a decreasing from the wall to the interior now again the same question is this reaction endothermic or exothermic the second thing is that we might have an imperfection in terms of mixing if our impeller is not functioning well we may be able to mix the domains that are close to the impeller well however domains outside may remain stagnant under such conditions we may not be able to use the uniform concentration assumption as we have been using in the lectures uh, when we were teaching you this subject as an undergraduate material therefore we have to solve again mass balance energy balance and momentum balance simultaneously however solution of those three conservation laws simultaneously are non-trivial problems and first of all we have to learn how to analyze a problem how to eliminate the limitations and how to arrive at a conclusion at a solution uh, as quickly as possible and as close to the reality as possible.